Everybody complains about LA traffic, but if you've been through Tacoma, it's just fucking mad, bro. What's up, guys? Today is a big day. You know, I kind of feel like I say that almost every single time I vlog, but today literally is a big day for me. I actually move in to my very own place. It's going to be a little bit of a hectic morning. I have to go there, pick up the keys, which means I also need to run to the ATM. So heading to the bank, I'm gonna pull out some cash so I can get my uh, keys and then move everything in that I have in storage. And if you guys see, it is pissing rain outside and I am not excited for this, but it, you do what you gotta do. And it's a really nice place. It's a really nice house that I got and I'm, I'm so excited. Um, I'm moving in with a bunch of nerds. I'm kidding, these guys are awesome. So they have a lot of uh, computer equipment and games and stuff like that, which would be super exciting for me to get myself back into because I haven't been able to nerd out in a long time. And I'm moving an hour away from where I am currently, which is also an hour closer to my work, which is amazing, because I've been this whole time, clearly. Also, there's a car that I, I honestly haven't even mentioned in any of the vlogs that I own. I love this car, but I am selling it. It's a track beast, it's so quick, but I never get to take it out. It doesn't really need a lot of work, I just don't have a place to do all the work. Now that I do, it's kind of ironic that I'm still trying to sell it, and I pretty much have it sold. I want to move on to something else, and I want to start a new project. I want to move on to a new build. And the Subaru is almost done. So since I'm moving to this place, I'll get the Subaru all finished up and then we can kind of move into whatever I want to do next, which I think you guys will like. It's either gonna piss people off or it's gonna like make jaws drop. Until then, let's just get our ass into the house. got the money, but I had to do like 23 transactions to get it. I don't, I called ahead of time too. So, you can't tell me I was being stupid. Now off to the house and I can't wait to see the place. I mean, it's been about three weeks or so since I've seen it and it's just refreshing seeing the inside and the beauty of it. You guys will check it out. And uh, unfortunately we will have to kind of get going because I gotta pick up the U-Haul, go get my stuff and start moving in because I actually even work tonight. I don't think I mentioned that. It's gonna be a good day. Stay positive. Be good. What are we looking for? Oh, they don't have the soundboards. What do you mean? There's tons of soundboards. Boards. Yeah. Sound boards. The speakers that I have. Hey, why don't we just why don't we just settle with the I mean yeah. 49 inch. I feel like it's just like the retarded brother. Of the 50 inch that just didn't quite make it. So it's perfect. That's a good point. It is LG. I want still new one to open up that credit card. <laughs> so everybody should be really thankful that Brandon over here is gonna buy us all TVs. <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. What, what are the payments on him? He's a hero. He's a hero. Yeah, yeah, He's yeah. a good man. They new, have the uh, new GoPros. You know that the, the gimbal? Yeah. They're built into the GoPro now. Built in? So it's, yeah, built in so it's like better space. It's like beautiful. I was thinking about just doing it around the corner, you know? In your car? In your room? Yeah. So I was gonna like have it on the corner, dresser, mirror, you know, it's right there, so I can have a TV back. I think it'd be great in the living room. Yeah. Yeah. Light difference. Clarity. I mean you can even I mean, even they can see it. Look at the difference. <laughs> We're just balling over here. It hurts. But it's ultra color spectrum. <laughs> that leaf. Like I said, this was the way we passed this class. Oh my god, it is wet. Can you pull down the two seats right there? Yeah, that's not gonna work. Oh, there goes the mount. There me. The... I can hold it back and get the down on the You ever see the Mia Khalifa meme where she's like, <gasps> That's how big. <laughs> you can lap that. We can fit all of it. Yeah, we can fit it all. So the biggest question is, how much stuff can you fit in a Tesla Model 3? 
I don't think anybody's actually tested this theory, but right now we're about to attempt two 65 inch TVs, two wall mounts, and an LG sound Sub system. Woofer. Everything, subwoofer and bar. So the front too. <laughs> Not to mention, I still have to move into the house. I still have a U-Haul that I haven't returned yet, and I still haven't even picked up my stuff. And it's 8.30. No way. Oh, force it. We can make it fit. Okay, we'll be right back. We'll be back with the U-Haul. Sorry, guys. Now you guys are wet. Now you made them wet. I didn't make it. And you did. <laughs> You're the one who's like, oh, I can fit in there, dude. No problem. Yeah, you get in the back seat. You're an asshole. <laughs> Conclusion. <laughs> no, you cannot fit two 65-inch screen TVs in a Tesla Model 3. But can fit the TVs without the boxes, most likely. Yeah, we can take them out of the box. In the pouring rain. Just throw it in the rain. Okay, so I guess, oh my god. Oh shit. <laughs> this thing is so fucking fast. Oh fuck, what are you doing? I gotta go to my idiot. Does that recharge your battery? We need some break. I got a whole mile back. <laughs> <laughs> it is insane how that throws you in your seat. And it's literally just a massive fucking, oh my god. I can't. I can't explain how instant it is, and it makes me giggle like a fucking schoolgirl, and I hate that shit. <laughs> you make me do something I don't want to do. <laughs> God. I kind of wish I had a timer. The next day. All right, let me take a break from moving. Um, we moved into the new place. I kind of stopped recording for most of the time just because basically we had complications. It had to do with keys, it had to do with timing, it had to do with everything. I just kind of set the camera down and said whatever. I'm still moving, I got done like 2 a.m. The house is nice, it's got a light, nice echo because it's empty. There's nothing in here. It's a nice sunny day. I do go to work tonight. I had a call off yesterday because it was just, it was just too much. One drawback, internet won't be up from two weeks to four months from now. Yeah. So I don't know when this is going to get uploaded because that is the worst news I've heard so far. I don't know. I guess I can probably go to like a, like a Starbucks or something. You're in Seattle, Starbucks are always full. Always. And there's like 50 people on the Wi-Fi, so um, yeah, I, I'm just basically going to move everything in. I'm waiting on Dylan and Brendan to come back, and they're going to unload all their stuff, so I'm trying to get out of their way. Oh, hold on, you guys want to see this. Look at this. Three car garage. I am so happy. I got most of the stuff kind of put away. Yeah, I'm stoked. Look how much space in it. And this is coming from the last like six months of not actually having any sort of space at all with no garage. So like things are gonna pick up a little bit more in this driveway. Whoo, she looks good. It's just a beautiful house. I'm gonna get back to unpacking. Long story short, there's two other things I wanna introduce to you guys. And we also have some parts on the way. So I'm super excited to kind of get those things going because I haven't had a chance to. So now that everything's coming in the mail, uh, I already got one one thing that's coming in for the version four of the Subaru, final version. I'm, I'm putting it out there, it's the final version. I'm not going back on what I said. It's the final version. I can't wait to show you guys. So I appreciate you guys for watching. Thank you. And it's times like these where I kind of want to emphasize that when things start going your way, you want to stay humble, even though you have things going in the right direction. Does that make sense? So appreciate what you got. And I'm super grateful to be where I'm at because I, I did hit an all-time low in the middle of the season of vlogging and getting into this whole thing of YouTube. So seeing my way to be able to get back up and grind and do what I need to do, I'm super excited and I'm super thankful. It's all a blessing. I just want to remind you guys, you know, stay humble, enjoy what you got, be thankful for what you got. And if you don't have everything you're looking for, just work hard towards it and you'll get it. You'll get there. You will. It's all about putting in the effort and hard work. It really is. I know I sound like an old dad, but that's 
that's the way things work these days. You just, the harder you work, the easier it is. <laughs> that's, that's the basics. Until the next video, I'm gonna unpack, I'm gonna get into the new place, and next vlog, we'll get a little into uh, some of the stuff that's coming forth the Subaru, so. Thank you guys, peace out, stay humble.